Hi, I'm Shauna Fishhaber with VA Disability Group. Today we'll be discussing the additional state benefits available to New Hampshire veterans who have a 100% rating with the VA, as well as a few other benefits veterans should be aware of. We understand that navigating all the available options can be overwhelming, and we hope this information will help simplify the process and point you in the right direction to take advantage of these benefits. Visit our website where we'll have more detailed information regarding eligibility and application processes. We will have a link in the description box below. New Hampshire has one state veterans home. Eligibility is based on clinical need and setting availability. In New Hampshire, honorably discharged veterans must meet medical qualifications to receive care. Applicants must have been residents for one year prior to applying. A financial certification is required, and we recommend that you talk with a VA social worker near you about eligibility requirements and to create a payment plan. Currently, there are no national cemeteries in New Hampshire. There is one state cemetery in Boscawen. National burial benefits include a grave site in any of the VA national cemeteries with available space, opening and closing of the grave, perpetual care, a government headstone marker or medallion, a burial flag, and a presidential memorial certificate at no cost to the family. Burial benefits are available for spouses and dependents as well. Keep in mind that state cemeteries eligibility is similar to national cemeteries, but may include residency requirements. New Hampshire does not levy a general state income tax on individuals, so you are not required to file an individual state tax return for New Hampshire for any of the following payments made to veterans, retirees, or service members. So New Hampshire retirement income, New Hampshire retired military pay, New Hampshire state taxes on VA military disability retired pay, state taxes on VA DIC payments, military survivor benefit plan payments, reserve component survivor benefit plan, or retired servicemen's family protection plan. There are several tax credits and exemptions available to New Hampshire veterans. Today I'm going to cover the top two tax exemptions offered to veterans. However, there are a variety of others available. In order to understand how these benefits may or may not be combined, we recommend you contact your local tax assessor. The Service Connected Total Disability Tax Credit allows for an amount ranging from $700 to $4,000 to be subtracted from the property taxes due on an eligible applicant's residential property. This amount is dependent on the municipality you reside in. To be eligible for this exemption, you must meet one of the following criteria. You're honorably discharged with either a service-connected disability that is rated as permanent and total, or you are a double amputee or paraplegic due to service-connected injury. The unmarried surviving spouse of a qualified veteran would also be eligible. The Certain Disabled Veterans Exemption allows an eligible veteran to be exempt from all taxation on their homestead. To be eligible for this exemption, the following must be true. You were discharged under conditions other than dishonorable, or you are an officer that has been honorably separated from military service. Additionally, you own a specifically adapted homestead, which was acquired with the assistance of the VA. If you used the proceeds from the sale of any previous homestead, which was acquired with the assistance of the VA, your property would also qualify. You must also be either 100% permanently and totally disabled or permanently and totally disabled under IU. If you are a double amputee or paraplegic as a result of service connection or have blindness of both eyes as a result of service connection, you would also qualify. The surviving spouse of an eligible veteran may also apply to receive this exemption. Proof of service-connected disability must be provided. Your summary of benefits letter should be sufficient proof. The applicant must be qualified as of April 1st for the year the exemption or the tax credit is claimed. 
the applicant must have been a resident for at least one year preceding April 1st for the veterans tax credit and five years for the disabled exemption. Keep in mind that these tax credits and exemptions vary by the vote of the municipality you reside in. Consult your local assessor's office for detailed information and requirements regarding the exemptions available in your area. Annual refiling may be required. New Hampshire war veterans and their families who are unable to support themselves may be supported at public expense in the town or city where they live. Basic eligibility includes an honorable discharge and that the individual is not under guardianship of legal restraint. Contact your local county commissioner's office or public welfare office for more information or visit a local VSO for assistance. Honorably discharged veterans get hiring preference for city, town, and district jobs. Preference is also given to veterans in appointments for the State Liquor Commission, the State Veterans Council, the Commandant, and employees of the New Hampshire Veterans Home. Unmarried surviving spouses and spouses of disabled veterans may also qualify. Contact your local VSO to learn more about how to apply. Veterans and eligible spouses can receive access to public employment and training services on a higher priority basis than other applicants. We will have a registration link on our website. Service-connected disabled veterans or an unmarried surviving spouse may be exempt from fees for a peddler's license. Contact the nearest New Hampshire State Licensing Office or a VSO for more assistance. There are three types of $100 bonuses for veterans who served during specific periods of conflict, including the Vietnam War, the Persian Gulf War, and the Global War on Terrorism. Veterans must have been residents of New Hampshire at the time of entry into the military and received an honorable discharge. To receive the Vietnam bonus, you must have served 90 days or more during Vietnam and earned the Vietnam Service Medal or Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal. Claims made after August 22, 1977 must be approved by the Adjutant General, the Governor, and Executive Council. To receive the Persian Gulf War bonus, you must have served between August 2, 1990 and November 30, 1995, and received the Southwest Asia Service Medal. The program expired on August 31, 2002, but there are provisions that allow for acceptance of applications after that date. To receive the Global War on Terrorism Operations Bonus, the veteran must have served after September 11, 2001, and earned the Global War on Terror Expeditionary Medal. The program expired on June 11, 2009, but there are provisions that allow for the acceptance of applications after that date. Although the programs have technically expired, all three bonus programs still appear on the New Hampshire Department of Military Affairs and Veterans Service website, and we have operational links to the applications. To apply, you can mail in the applications for the Global War on Terrorism and Persian Gulf War to the New Hampshire Office of Veterans Services. Veterans and eligible spouses are given priority of service at New Hampshire Employment Service locations. Veterans are shown preference for the receipt of employment, training and placement services, and all state workforce programs funded by the Department of Labor. This means that veterans or eligible spouses who meet the eligibility requirements for a program or service receive access to that program or service earlier than others. If resources are limited, the veteran or eligible spouse will receive access to the service or resource instead of or before others. Veterans and eligible spouses are encouraged to identify themselves as such when inquiring about any New Hampshire Employment Services programs or upon visiting any NH Works office locations. New Hampshire offers a variety of registration fee and licensing fee exemptions to veterans with permanent and total disabilities. I will only cover the most relevant in this video. 
you should contact your local DMV to discuss needed documentation to apply. First is the New Hampshire Disabled Veteran Driver License Fee Exemption. No fee will be charged for a motor vehicle operator's license for a veteran who is an amputee or paraplegic and who received a motor vehicle from the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. You would also qualify if you are classified as permanently and totally disabled due to service-connected disability. The New Hampshire registration fee exemption for blind veterans is extended to veterans that are classified by the VA as totally blind because of a service-connected condition. There will be no fee charged for a permit to register a motor vehicle owned by the veteran. No registration fee will be payable for a vehicle provided by the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs to an amputee, paraplegic, or a blind veteran classified as being permanently and totally disabled from service connection. No fee shall be charged for a permit to register a motor vehicle owned by a war veteran who is an amputee, paraplegic, or who suffered the loss of use of a limb from a service-connected cause when the vehicle is received or a cash settlement in lieu thereof is received from the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs. Any motor vehicle bearing special disabled veteran license plates with the international accessibility symbol will be allowed free parking time in any city or town. The vehicle must be under the direct control of the veteran. Honorably discharged veterans deemed to be totally and permanently disabled due to their service-connected disability are allowed one disabled veteran plate at no charge. Lastly, special license plates may be issued for motor vehicles owned by individuals with walking disabilities. We will have a link on our website to access more information about these special license plates. New Hampshire offers a wide variety of educational benefits to resident veterans and their dependents. It is important to note that state educational benefits can often be used in conjunction with the national educational benefits, such as the DEA program. If you are interested in learning more about the DEA program, check out our national benefits video. The University System of New Hampshire will award tuition waivers to children of 100% permanently and totally disabled New Hampshire veterans. All eligibility requirements must be met to qualify. Students are required to apply for this assistance annually. To apply, the dependent must be accepted or enrolled in a state institution. The student must enroll in an eligible USNC academic program and meet residency requirements. Additionally, the student must apply for FAFSA and utilize available federally funded military tuition assistance programs, such as the National DEA program or the GI Bill. The application must be submitted no later than May 31st when applying for the fall term. It is highly recommended that you contact the institution for a detailed list of all the necessary documentation that will be required. The children of military members who died in service during wartime and children of certain wartime veterans who died from a service-connected disability may qualify for free tuition at New Hampshire colleges. They can also receive a scholarship of up to $2,500 per year to be used for room, board, rent, or books and supplies for a period of no more than four years. Children must be between 16 and 25 years old. The application deadline is September 1st and you must reapply annually. Contact the veteran service officer at the institution you wish to attend for more information or contact the Department of Education Administrator. Honorably discharged New Hampshire resident veterans who are permanently and totally disabled can get a free lifetime hunting and fishing license. A one-time $10 administration fee will be charged. Patients at the VA Medical Center in Manchester and residents of the New Hampshire Veterans Home may be issued free fishing permits under certain conditions. Disabled veterans may hunt from motor vehicles or boats under certain conditions with a proper permit. Contact the New Hampshire Fish and Game Department's Business and Licensing Division for more information. New Hampshire veterans with any VA disability rating won't be charged a fee for day use admission to New Hampshire state parks. 
disabled veterans license plates issued by the state of New Hampshire or a summary of benefits letter will be sufficient evidence. This discount is only for the veteran and is not applicable to other guests. Activities fees such as ski lifts, food services, campgrounds, etc. will still be charged. Indigent veterans may be buried at the expense of the municipality in which the veteran died. Contact your local VSO or municipality office for more information. Copies of public records are provided for free when needed by the VA to determine eligibility for benefits. The State Veterans Council and its veteran service officers will assist veterans and dependents in obtaining these benefits. Thank you for joining me to discuss the ancillary benefits for disabled New Hampshire veterans. Check the description box below for helpful links and to access other helpful tools on our website.